can respect that. Now and, that you explain you, it that way, and you have to be aware. Like, I can you, respect you that. You have to have known that. What the hell? Because I have learned to like uh, watching John. Yeah. Just as, just because of how meticulous he is. But we got a uh, Poke Lamb here. Let's yeah, see what Poke Lamb can do against uh, against E. Okay, Lucina, pretty solid character. Um, fundamental heavy. Uh, you really got to understand not only your character, but uh, who you're playing against if you want to play uh, characters like Lucina. Um, and this isn't something E hasn't seen before. Not much has changed uh, about Villager since 4, so yeah. he's been doing this matchup for a while. The uh, stock taker special, man. For the most part. but um, that, That's L-I-L-I. -L -I. Don't get me wrong. As a, you would think on paper, ooh, no, as please. the back air hits, Pokemon, you gotta be ready for that. It's too late in the bracket for you to be getting hit with Ledstrom back airs yeah. right now. No, I think a lot of this matchup is like you, you, you don't want to let Villager get get their space. You want to like know what what aerials you can walk through with like your fair yes. or your nair. For sure. And a lot of people kind of get uh, just like that. They get poked up with uh, the animations of the uh, of the the rocket, the Lloyd rocket, yeah. and the uh, tree being planted or watered. No, a lot of times you can just walk through that, exactly. and it's unsafe. Like they cannot do that that close. To you. Exactly, you can't do it close. And in the beginning, there's no hitbox. Yeah. So if you can get past it, you can uh, really get something done. Okay, nice job waiting. Try to extend the hitbox with that down tilt. He not, he not buying it though. But as I was saying earlier, on paper, people feel like this matchup is. Oh, and he kind of got an edge guard here. Use his double jump though, so he can't do what he wanted. The tech. Ready on the tech. I, I like that. I like that mix there. It's a little scary, but I like the, the mix of going for the up air there. You like lord in the opposite direction, mm -hmm. and then you can like either up air or back air. So they have to respect both above you and behind you. Yeah. Nice. nice. So he's he's making he's letting Poker Lamb know. Listen, that drop zone is not safe. He's punishing him from go, for going down in that drop zone every single time. Nice air dodge. Oh no! <laughs> I actually think he was out of there if he didn't swing on it. They just mm -hmm. extended the hitbox because yeah. he down aired it. Or maybe he just air dodge him down because I know he wanted to avoid the um, uh, Poker Lamb. Poker yeah. was kind of just sitting there waiting to punish. So you want to Yo, throw out a hitbox, but uh, now that's the same situation where the extend actually helped him this time. Mm -hmm. He extended the hitbox to the Lord, so it covered. Yeah. Ooh, nice nair. Get that in was there, really there. It's really scary. I actually thought Alam was gonna go for the the uh, F smash there. Okay, good roll. That's a dangerous situation for him to be in. I'm surprised he got out of that like that. That was almost like had a couple frames to roll. Nonetheless, down there. He's he's just waiting. He didn't he, like yeah. he, he didn't commit to a jump there after the down air. And I I love the patience by E. Yeah. It's really good. I mean he has no real reason to like press the situation. For sure. Nice down. I wonder if that, that was, was the second back time air. he wall jumped after the situation. He's ready. Okay. Tech check. Those are situations where you know you're gonna have to check tech, and it's like all right, let's see if you're able to do it. No. But like I said, we be, we pretty late in bracket right now. You gotta take that. This quarter, you don't miss those techs. Mm -hmm. Okay. No wood. Ooh, spot dodge up there. Why not? Why not? <laughs> nah, up. That's up tilt, no? Yeah, up tilt. Up excuse up me. Up tilt. Spot dodge up tilt. Yeah, no. I, I literally think it's it's literally just a, like a stock ticker in the chat. Yeah, this is this is like everyone. As soon as their character gets on the screen, they're like, "Yo, hear me out." <laughs> <laughs> Word. There's like a signal. His yeah. ears started ringing. He's like, "Uh, encore esports." No, uh, no. no, but that but that's what that's what it is. Uh, in this matchup, uh, Pokemon really needs to like. Put, put him off stage uh -huh. and then camp them F-Smashes, man. It's it's so hard. You're eating so much mix to avoid the F-Smash. Mm -hmm. and, and then once you do it like once or twice, you kind of like, now you're guessing at, all right, he did this last time. Is he going to do it again or is he going for the other option? Because there's really only like two options you have. It's air dodge to ledge to like miss the F-Smash drop uh -huh. or up B early and try to catch him before he releases it. Mm, and that combo. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, a, and, and in a matchup like this, a lot of times the villager will take advantage of kind of like the offstage game. Yep. Um, if you can clip a jump, you can get out there and clip a jump. Because you're making it back no matter where you go. If you can get out there, clip a jump, uh, make them go down uh, in the drop zone and maybe get an F smash. Like, you can take really early stops. Oh, absolutely. But it seems like E isn't giving him that opportunity. He's picking right every time they get off stage. Well, that would have been ugly. Well, just now, Alon put him off stage with the back throw. And then he, he kind of stood with his back face on the ledge. 
I think he was like looking to like scare another option, but then turn around F smash. I think he's just like uh, in instead of doing the, the normal villager thing where you charge the F smash off stage, uh -huh. he's just waiting to try to scout out a different option before he goes for it. But this is looking much for, uh, much much more uh, even than last game. Yeah, and he was that close to taking that stock just now. Just missed the uh, the swing shot. Yeah. I like that too. I like I like waiting to, after the Lloyd to see if he's gonna swing on the Lloyd. There's yeah. no punish there, but I'm sure he's looking for that option again. Okay, and you see East stage control is really good. He's not overextending. He's understanding what it means to have stage control and how important it is in this matchup. Because once he starts going off stage and you start trying to gimp, it, it could turn into a reversal real quick. I like the upper attempt. Oh, the balloon's actually extending the hitbox. Mm -hmm. so he got punished for it. Just like that. How do you make it back to the stage? You let him set up. Okay. Oh, so scary! Bro! <laughs> nice. He's been punishing that every single time. So, uh, is it Pokey Lamb or Pokey Lamb? Pokey Lamb. Pokey Lamb. Yeah. Uh, back throw gonna take it. Okay. Oh, we got the little... <laughs> bruh, bruh, <laughs> why? Yeah, if he didn't parry, that's that's real, man. That's hilarious. That'll break his shield? No. No, I don't think it'll break. I think it'll be close, though. Still scary, though, man. I wonder how safe that move is on shield, because the FAF off of F Smash is pretty quick. Okay, down throw. This is where it's Yo. scary! Yeah, now you have to eat all the mix, because... Mm -hmm. oh. See, just like that. A lot of other characters are making that. Even Lucina, like, if he clips that jump going high... Listen, he's in trouble, yo. At any percent. It was really smart of him to not go immediately to the ledge, look, knowing that he was looking for that scout. See, that's what I'm talking about. Just put that F smash there. It's really hard to deal with. Yeah. He made him go down. Ah. Oh, Bro, damage. Lot of damage, man. Holy damage. crap. Damage. Okay. That is looking really good for uh. For Alam, yeah. For Alam, for sure. That's what I'm talking about. Make, make him fight his way in. Keep the distance, don't actually boss with him. Okay, it's gonna water the tree, little garden in action. Nice. Gonna tech roll out. Listen, I'm here. <laughs> Yo, the jukes? Bobbing and weaving, bobbing and weaving. The dude. jukes? This is scary. Yo, broke it. I'm telling you, Yo. it, it, forces, it forces so many options for him to do it there. Mm -hmm. And now he's back on ledge, and obviously he's like recovered from the F smash lag, so he's just chilling. He gets yeah. to pick another option. You put it out there, now mm -hmm. he has to use his resources. He has to give you information about what he wants to do off ledge yeah. or what he wants to do to not get hit by that F smash. For sure. Because I, I think you, you waiting at ledge and like using F smash as a burst option doesn't scout you any information. Uh huh. It's good, and you can get a kill off it, but it doesn't scout your information. Yeah. Holding the F-Smash at ledge gives you tons of information. For sure. One, go! Could not agree more. And it seems like he was gathering that information ever since the first game. Kind of made a uh, quick switch there. Let's see what E got, though. And I think that's where E uh, was kind of like making a lot of mistakes in uh, that game, too. Uh, in the first game, he was very methodical. Uh, he wasn't giving up stage control as much. Yeah. Game two was a different story. Like, he kind of overextended a little bit more, and uh, he put himself in situations where Alam was just able to uh, get those reversals. I think it's kind of cool that uh, he's choosing to Lloyd further away from the stage now yeah. because he was a uh, runoff fairing and killed yeah. him multiple times. Yep. That is true. Good, good observation for sure. Yeah, in game one, he definitely got a lot of. Uh, so, he, like, he's Lloyding like, like another character distance away. Yeah. And so that he has options by the time you try to run off air. And that's matchup knowledge. Other characters, you might be able to do that that close to the stage. Yep. Uh, Lucina, not, not so easy. Nice. Right. Even with the parry, he turns around and gets the up tilt. Nice job. For sure. And of course, it's a little... It's a little bit safer on the I back like, end. I like that a lot. I like I like the, the, the instant aggression after the first hit. It's not true, but it's, there's, there's not very many things they can do to stop it. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Good spacing. Down okay. tilt. Make sure you don't hit the, the balloons. You're hitting the, the actual body. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie. Uh, I kind of like to see uh, <laughs> like to see E kind of just opt for a little bit uh, more passive play. Yeah, dude, this, Keeping this, that stage control. This is the, what's it called? This is the, uh, yo. <laughs> Nonetheless, the, he's winning. It, okay. it's, it's the Evo stuff. It's the, yo, this, every, every interaction matters. I'm going to stay over here. Word. <laughs> <laughs> like. 
great back air. Nah, He's so good at landing that, nah. man. That movement's been really crisp this game so far. Okay. Just going to wait and shield. Listen, I'm grabbing you, D. I'm curious. I want to see him, like, like in that situation there, he could have fared the Lloyd and yeah. extended on the, because it's going to extend the hitbox. Yeah. As the fair takes it, you see E going out there now. <laughs> well, now he has the fair factor. He can, he can really like, he can really just like, oh, you want to wait? Yep. Well, this is your panic option after the wait. Mm, look at that, just reacting, understanding that on that platform he wasn't in danger, came out of shield, and was able to take stage control. Little stuff like that, man. Yep. These players are so good. Yep. Any other player would have just sat there on shield on that platform. But he understood so quick how fast he was in. Oh, and the down air to back air. Yo, Terrible situation. Are you looking for it? Mm -hmm. He's like, he's okay. like I want Why not? this right now, dude. <laughs> Why not? I'm not going. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's Yeah, that was so good. That's a three stock. Yo, and that shows you. That's it. That, yeah. Pokemon took it to him game two. Yeah. 100%. And, and you see the adaption, like, like the adaptation. Yeah. And that it was, was good because that, that all. That was some movement, man. All that got set up.